it's really time to um, address this fake blackness, right? And most of the time, people that you call black don't really have a foot to stand on when they're giving advice or saying shit or even on, say, YouTube, like now. I'm quite sure by the time this is finished, or maybe it won't, it'll be people in the comments. And just because you can comment, you comment, and that's cool, right? That's cool. But it's stupid at the same time to assume that you know me. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the bottom line. That's as simple as I can make it. I'm random and I'm anonymous to y'all right now, right? So how would you know anything about me? Anything you saying about me coming in, that's basically you just talking. If you haven't looked at any of my videos, seen what I'm about, and I'm saying that to say, like the last week or so since this election been going on, and I've been live streaming a lot, right? And my sentiment is, I support Donald Trump. I don't vote, but I support Trump. And as soon as people that's black hear that, then the fun start because for some reason, like, that's when blacks go, coon, 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 coon. They fire off and they get in line with that, right? And the problem with that for me is I used to be one of those blacks that was firing off coon, coon, coon when you see somebody like um, Clarence Thomas. Ben Carson, Condoleezza Rice, uh, Colin Powell, because they don't fit the dynamic of what I grew up on or what I see out in the street playing basketball, hooping, baby daddy and baby mom and selling drugs, eyelashes and all that shit, then that's not black, right? You say Trump or a MAGA hat, that's like nigga kryptonite. And I test people. They don't like it. What black people power is, is fucking chaos. That's what you revel in. That's what you need to be in. Because anything that, that's orderly, it's going to expose you for who you are. So when I started keeping Torah, it changed me. It changed me being a liar. It changed me from being deceitful. It changed me from having to worry about consequences of what people was thinking about me because I got stomach cancer, right? And it's, I can't explain it to y'all. Like, I'm not even going to try and y'all can't get it. People say, um, I'm sorry, Ed. And I understand, like, I, I appreciate it, but I don't want y'all to be sorry because it changed me. And I wish... Not in a bad way. Y'all could get it. So the urgency of living will hit y'all. Everybody's so cliche that they don't get it. And the reason that they could be cliche because nobody has ever taken it serious, stood on it, and walked it out. Well, I caught cancer, stomach cancer, some kind of way. And... That was the beginning of me changing everything because I am stubborn or focused. And once I got the cancer, like everything else, like everybody else, it's, it's the chemo. I, I'm thinking about chemo. I could beat it with chemo. I could beat it. <laughs> but what kind of life was I really going to have? I've seen people with chemo before. I'm looking at my family, and I'm thinking about all the fucking time I waste, like not being good to much, more time I could have spent, and I spent a lot of time with my kids too, but you always want more time, I'm sitting there with the dick look, like everybody else, I ain't black now, right, that's my family, that's my daughter, that's my son. Ain't none of y'all black asses nowhere to be found right now. That's my cancer, too. So, 
It's us. We had to go through the shit I went through. I wasn't suffering on blackness. I wasn't suffering on whiteness. That cancer came from my ass. And me and my family, we did work with it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm here now. That was 2016. And I've been in Torah, submerged in that shit since. I don't celebrate my birthday. I don't celebrate Zoe's birthday, Wiz's birthday, Munch's birthday. And they in it with me. And it's not taxing. Because we got each other every day, right? Um, the Most High said, be fruitful and multiply. Raise your kids in the way of the Most High, right? Uh, it took me a minute. What I was raised in, what I was socialized to know, this the structure, the tradition. It's hard to get out of when every day is reinforced. People around you that you care for reinforce it. Anybody that I was hanging around in 2015, I don't even know them anymore. You know, that was the beginning of the end for people that I love. It was people that, it's crazy. And they look at me now like something wrong with me, right? I got friends that got multiple baby mothers struggling, to, and they don't want advice. It's like, yo, and I don't give advice. I give information. That's black, though. Everybody I know, recovering addict, not married, the creator want us to have a completion. Somebody for you, like the cancer. If I had that shit by myself, I'd be dead. Nothing to fight for. We got a law to live with each other. We don't have a law to be black. So when y'all run around talking that coon shit, y'all talking to the wrong person, man. I got miles logged. I got actual work. I keep Torah. And through Torah, I don't pay taxes. Through Torah, I don't drive with a license. That's the hands of God on the Constitution. One nation under God. I take it serious. Y'all want me to take being black serious? Y'all got to be fucking kidding. You going to try to raise a man. Plus, I'm already doing what y'all not doing. You got to be real with yourself. You know, this ain't no competition, but somebody need to tell y'all. If you're not doing better than somebody you're doing, you giving advice to, you need to shut up. Like, it ain't going to be no debate. That's what the facts are. And I don't debate. I live it out. I live Torah. The other, other day, I'm talking to some asshole in my live stream. He homeless and danced at a gay club to make his money. And he believe in Jesus. So he's trying to finagle some conversation to where I'm even entertaining the shit at Jesus. I'm like, no, you shut at the door, nigga. I keep Torah. I'm not listening to none of that shit. Yo, still trying to negotiate. This black people shit, like... My life not good enough for you. I need to... That's worse than fucking white people. And y'all telling somebody you a coon or you a sellout. The fuck do I want to be a deceitful ass nigga for to tell me to follow him just for the sake of following him? Y'all fucked up, man. All of y'all from this battle league to that. It's your own fucking agenda. And I'm sitting over here walking shit out and y'all looking at me like I'm the one. I done emancipated myself from black, white, all that shit on God. And y'all playing with his name. Organizations, church on Sundays, mosques, temples. It's one big fucking hustle. And that's why we struck right now, stuck right now. And I'm supposed to shut up and I'm supposed to not say what I'm saying. Who the fuck gonna say it? And I walked it out. That's why I'm talking this shit right now. All y'all could do is be mad at me and hope I shut up, but you're not going to do what I did. And and that hurt, man. That hurt motherfuckers to hear that. You want me to be quiet while you talk loud and don't have any fruit. I can't do that. That's not what's commanded of me. So if you don't like what I'm saying, you need to do better because you ain't going to shut me up. And to try to shut me up with me telling people about the creator, the most high, you're going to identify your fucking self. So... My personality ain't for you to like. I wasn't born for you. You don't even have to know me. You don't even have to be looking at this right now. You doing it to your fucking self. That's your own torment. You don't like turtles, don't own a turtle. But a turtle got a shell on them. You don't own a fucking turtle. 
and then complain about the show. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? And I ain't for you anyway. So anybody saying you a coon, this, that, or the third, you stuck. That shit don't mean nothing to me. The only reason you say coon, because that's a safety thing for you. That's all you got. You a coon. And hope somebody fights you on that shit. Nah, nigga. You scared. You the fucking coon. That shit been going on since the 60s. All you got is coon. And those four corners that you niggas hang on. Baby daddy, baby mama shit. No, I'm calling y'all out. Y'all are fucking coons. Dead in ass motherfuckers. Raising these suck ass niggas for kids. So I gotta worry about my son getting shot and killed. Cause you bitch ass niggas. That's coons. That's too fucking scared to stop the curse. You bitch ass niggas. Too scared to grind a real fucking job. Two or three, however many you need to. You the goddamn sellout, nigga. You make us look like pieces of shit. And then when people step up. For you motherfucking monkeys. Clarence Thomas. Ben Carson. Colin Powell is fucking. And I don't even deal with this word. Black excellence. You fucking monkeys always talk that shit about. Black Wall Street. It's bullshit. It's just like the coon charge. Black men haven't done shit for black men since they've been calling themselves black men. So don't come at me with that coon shit because y'all scared to keep pace with a real fucking man, not a black man. I'm a man of the creator, like your faggot ass pastor pretend to be. Y'all go to that church every goddamn Sunday and you still go to that church every goddamn Sunday. But as fucked up as you niggas are with your repetitive behavior... I'm going to keep coming with my fucking repetitive behavior. And something going to give. Because you niggas ain't going to be able to lie forever. The truth going to be the same. It never changed. You got a new fucking lie every time you turn around. The angle. I don't negotiate though, dog. My terms of the contract is set in Torah. So, one of you motherfuckers got a problem with me not acting black. Fuck you. You need to act other than black. Because... Black is three-fifths of a man, as told to you by your white daddy. And what you do? You talk about black power, pro-black. That's the jail cell. You're trying to decorate that shit up to anything but nigga. Black nigga. Synonymous. What's coon? What's a coon synonymous with? Tell me the bad thing. What do coons do that's bad for black people? Make you look bad by having jobs, wives, no baby mothers. No drug records, no jail records. That's what a coon is. So white people keeping you down. Why? Your own fucking mind state keeping you down. You the coon.